Hey guys, welcome back to the Cantina. This is video number two. As you know in the description, episode nine has wrapped. And uh, pictures, basically just kind of things from the wrap party came out from uh, Daisy Ridley's uh, 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 makeup artist. And uh, JJ was on Twitter uh, with a picture of uh, uh, Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, and uh, Oscar Isaac hugging. You know, no no sign of a uh, Adam Driver anywhere, and uh, of course all the Raylos start freaking out. <laughs> um, so what's it mean? Well, seeing kind of an uptick in uh, anger anger issues coming from the SJWs who are who have been left out of the loop at Lucasfilm. Uh, I would say Paolo Hidalgo, uh, um, you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, I really do think that that rumor about uh, Ryan Johnson walking away from his trilogy is true. I do think it. Uh, he lied about it. Um, I'm not taking it back. Uh, what he said, as I've said before in the uh, other video, is no, no different, nothing different than what any other out of work screenwriter would say that you'd run into at a Santa Monica Starbucks you know, Malibu, Starbucks, whatever. Uh, he doesn't have one. He is not going to do that trilogy. Uh, I can't see Bob Iger going, oh, it's okay, Schnooky, you can do it. I mean, here's the deal. Regardless of what the know-it-alls, and they all know who they are, I'm looking at someone named Matthew, thinks it's about money, okay? You can't, in the shareholders, Regardless if they're if they're liberal, it doesn't matter if they're liberal. Do they want to make money? Yeah. Okay. Do they? You know, Disney can't afford what's going on because let me tell you, there's there's already a feeling that they're uh, basically uh, kind of dumbing down the uh, opening of uh, Galaxy's Edge because no one's going to want to go to it. I mean. Who wants to go to a theme park that's Star Wars and not see any Star Wars characters? Han, Luke, Leia, Vader, Chewbacca, uh, the Emperor, you know, I mean, this all, the, they went about it all wrong. And it, it's just, it's literally going to bite them on the ass. You know, and I'm sorry, I don't, I don't feel sorry for them. It's just me, who I am. I do not feel sorry for these people at all. So anyway, um, you know, I kind of feel sorry for uh, the people at Lucasfilm who are good people, uh, Leland Chi, uh, you know, Dave Filoni, and other pe and the guys that do the effects and the sound because they've been there forever. Those people have been there forever. They worked, they've worked with George Lucas for decades, and they get, they've gotten crapped on, and it's out of control. So anyway, um, but I do think that the the, the uh, SJWs are going to step up in trollage, and I think the reason why that rumor about Johnson walking away was actually Disney doing this to see how the fans would react. I want to say this. I have never seen so much joy on the internet in my life. So if Disney got any message, it's get rid of him. All right? Put it out there. Get rid of him. Hopefully they got it. Um, what else? Uh, we got, I, I, I talked about we got this uh, covered uh, posted a thing saying that um, they're thinking about doing the EU films. Can you imagine? And doing it right? Oh my God, can you imagine? You know, you have to do Heir to the Empire and all the rest of these animated. And I would do hand-painted plates. I wouldn't do the way they're doing it right now because, I'm sorry, Count Dooku, and as much as I love clones, Clone Wars, Count Dooku looks like an Easter Island head. Okay, he really does. No, no. I would do probably hand-painted illustrations, make them look as close to the actors that played the parts as you can so people aren't taken out of the of the uh, movie. Because here's the deal. They, they've now found out that they can't replace Harrison Ford. They can't replace Mark Hamill because everyone gagged when they saw the actor. And they can't replace Carrie Fisher, because no, no. So do it animated, do it paint, hand-painted illustrations, 
and do it right. And voice actors, you could find voice actor actors. But can you imagine finally getting to see Admiral Thrawn? Oh my God, really? I mean, you know, you know, if you if you got somebody like Jeremy Irons to do the voice, and then do Thrawn looking like him, it'd be fucking cool, wouldn't it? Be freaking cool, you know. So anyway, and and then. Yeah, you go in the betweens, you know, and do it right and do it right. Just what I would do is I'd decanonize the novels that were written and I'd decanonize all the comic books and come back and make everything streamline the EU that was before A New Hope and before or in between A New Hope and Empire. Okay, because then, then you'd have a good continuous story. Get the stuff that makes sense and is a timeline rather than all these stories that contradict each other and get authors that were right for a certain timeline then have an next author come up and take it and work on that but not deviate from it and not contradict what was written before that's what they got to do and it will be great but anyway um what else uh you know so what i'm gonna say is uh they they wrapped like i said they wrapped episode nine today Pictures are out there. I'll, I'll post the picture that JJ posted. Um, a lot of people are at, are tweeting at JJ. Good luck, man. You're going to need it. Uh, they've been filming since the 1st of August last year. So this is the 15th of December or September. That's a hell of a long, that's a hell of a long uh, shoot. August, September, October, November, December, January, February middle of February. That's about as long a shoot for movies I've ever seen. It's that was over. That's seven, almost seven months. Um, is it enough to fix what Johnson broke and the story group? No. I want to say something else. You can you, and this is what I really want to talk about, and then I'll get going. Here's the deal. Here's the thing. I think that there are people that working that are working at Lucasfilm, like at Pablo Hidalgo, shows that don't that aren't on the inside but are like consultants. They would rather see Episode Nine crash and burn, and the entire franchise destroyed, than say they were wrong and walk away. This is in war, what we call the scorched earth policy. And Stalin did it. Hitler did it. You've seen it in, in a lot of wars. And um, it is, and that's exactly what I think they're doing. They're, they're, they're doing a scorched earth. So when you see them mocking fans, attacking fans, when you see them attacking what we want to see in the movies, they're trying to get us not to go to it. Now they know we're not going to, but they're trying to hurt JJ. And part of me feels bad about supporting the boycott because I like JJ. I have no reason not to. Um, I know that he's doing his best and I know he did his best with what he had when they made The Force Awakens. Okay, he is a, he is a bigger Star Wars fan than he was a Star Trek fan. Okay, so I really think that they're out there trying to sabotage it just, just to hurt him because none of these people are part of what's going on. He will not, I mean, the story group has been completely cut out of the film. Okay. Um, and it is very, uh, interesting to me, um, to see this happening, but that's exactly what they're doing. And this is exactly why we need to get Bob Iger to do the right thing and to get rid of these people now, okay? I mean, I really think that, that I, I'm going to tell him right on this video, Mr. Iger, the people that, that, that have caused so much trouble at Lucasfilm and their uh, auxiliaries out, out, out there like uh, Jason and, and Amanda Ward and the rest of the people, are trying to destroy what JJ's doing to help fix what was what they broke, 
because they're pissed off and they don't want it to succeed. They want to do a scorched earth. And the best thing you can do is to get rid of them publicly so the fans see it. All right? Because now I know you don't want to do it because you're afraid of the shareholders. And I don't know why you're afraid of a bunch of screeching SJWs. Um, now is the time to do it. Because it's not 45% of the fans that liked TLJ. It's 25% of the fans. I really don't know anybody in life who liked The Last Jedi. I don't know anybody in life who likes, in real life, who likes the Diz, the Diz canon. Okay, these are the people that destroyed Star Wars. It's not J.J. Abrams. But they're going out there to hurt him. If anything, to, to hurt him out, out of spite because he's not, you know, because their, god, their goddess empress, their god, goddess empress K Kathleen Kennedy isn't allowed near it. So what do you do? Get rid of them. All right, get rid of them. Don't get rid of her. Get rid of them. Okay, you saw the reaction, how people felt when uh, we thought we, we, we thought that there was actual confirmation that uh, Ryan Johnson walked away from his trilogy. We also know he doesn't have one because you'll never let him make it. However, it would be really nice if you came out and said, we have parted ways with, parted ways with director Ryan Johnson. Okay, so anyway, uh, I wanted to say that. I, I, I just, I, I, I really wanted uh, to kind of talk a little bit about what could be going on and that I think there is a scorched earth policy against uh, JJ from people inside Lucasfilm and they're very obviously who they are. Pablo Hidalgo, his wife is involved now. You saw the tweet, um, you know, and They've already driven the fans away. But JJ, God bless him, is trying to bring us back. And, you know, I want him to succeed. I want Star Wars to succeed. But it can't succeed as long as these people are there. Okay? You got to make up your mind. Do you want to pay Pablo Hidalgo seven figures and pay for, for that mouth and everybody else at Lucasfilm? Do you want Lucasfilm to be attached to Jason and Amanda Ward? Uh, Steel Saunders, Brian Young, and all these other people who have done nothing but drive fans away from you. That's money going right out the window. All right? We know what the financials look like for Lucasfilm, and it ain't good. Okay? You fire Chuck Wendig. You need to fire Hidalgo. You need to fire that publisher who said those awful things about Luke Skywalker. That girl, Jennifer Hyder or Helder or whatever her name is. Um, but they all have to go, okay? Because they just need to go. They're not Star Wars fans. They're, they never have been, um, you know. And, hey, you know, in the, like in the movie Ready Player One, a fan boy can see a, can see her, can see a hater coming. We can, they're, they're haters. They're not fans. They're haters. And it's time for you to step up and do something to help salvage something from, uh, you know, this, this franchise, all right? Because we're going to fight for George Lucas. We're going to fight for his vision. We're going to fight for Mark Hamill. We're going to fight for Harrison Ford. We're going to fight for Carrie Fisher. We're going to fight for every one of those people who made our lives so much richer by this wonderful thing that they did for us when we were kids. Okay? All right? We're not going anywhere. But you're damn sure, unless you want to see Lucasfilm go bankrupt, we're damn sure going to see Hidalgo and the rest of these people gone. All right? So this is Stephanie signing out. I'll see you around the cantina. I'll see you around the galaxy. Be sure to tip those Wookiee bartenders. And uh, don't piss them off because Wookiee bouncers are hard to control. And if you see Solo, hey, dude, pay your tab, damn it. You know, I can't float this thing. Anyway, I'll see you around. Check and see what I found on Twitter. Here you go. Isn't that lovely? That's called winning, people. Winning. All right? 
Keep it up. All right. Thank you.